And gentlemen, dropping brand on the blue. Sorry, brand on the blue. Reborn on the red. First pick, brand new boss. Nicely done. Tau is not banned out. Will be picked up here by the Filipino team. And uh, we can see the band is Kufa, Harid, Grok, and Kaja. And I like what Reborn is doing. Because uh, Reborn is focusing on split pushing meta. And by uh, banning Grok and Kaja, it will avoid early on aggression nice. by Brand Esport. Which is what Brand Esport did during the first match. Correct. Which disabled that uh, split pushing ability on Hellcurt. Yes, that's true. So now, uh, there is a slight difference here on game number three because Chow is on the side of Brad. That is a very uh, powerful pick to be honest because mm -hmm. with Chow on the side of Brandy Esports, a lot of position play will be put okay. out which actually could distort so Reborn if they were to play another Pretty split push threat. Yep. However, they pick up two good, uh, two good hero picks as well. Kimi and Selena very good range uh, damage capabilities. And both are early game where they they have early on a power spike where yes. can let's see Kimi can get an uh, objective like turret and turtle without problem. Yes. Selena have that uh, you know magical burst damage early on. So maybe they're nice. focusing early game while maybe they depending on whether they want to still stick with their split pushing they will get one split pusher here. All right, Brad Malamik Malamik uh, Talaga here because Lolita and oh, also Minota these two picks. Ve to be honest, I, I like what Ben is doing yes. here for game number three. They get very good picks for any kind of comp because with Chao, Lolita, and Minotaur coming in, they can fit anything that they like. Because first of all, Lolita is a hard, hard counter against Kimi. Plus, so Lolita's yeah. shield also can actually block abyssal arrows coming yes. in. And uh, Akai on the side of uh, Team Reborn uh, adds in some uh, disturbance if the Akai goes for a hurricane dance and also a lockdown mechanism. However, that Minotaur would be dangerous here for Team Reborn as the Minion's Fury could actually disrupt movement, what Reborn, uh, which is what Reborn needs in case in case a fight bro uh, a bro uh, a fight comes out. Mm. And I like how they ban out Digi because uh, the first three pick is full of CC. Yes. Show with the red dragon. Lolita with the ulti and Minotaur with the Minuan Fury. So they need that Digi to be out of this land of dawn. Yes, that's true. So now the last band here before we approach to the second half of our picks and band is going to be a carry band here. We've seen a lot of uh, uh, carry Spot. on the side mm. of Brandon Spot being played by Rebo. Uh, so by denying that uh, maximum, maybe Rebo, uh, Rebo's threat will be slightly lowered down here. It could be called a respect ban from yeah, so Reborn yeah, here. respect ban here by, uh, by Team Reborn from Malaysia. So Terizla not being banned out will be picked up here by Lucy M for his team. So now the last two picks for Brandon Spot, I, call, I give you the callouts though. Hmm, let's see, Cloud and one magic hero will still get Lunox, still available to be picked by Burn Esport. Yeah, we've seen UG use Lunox just now, but never mind. That. It looks like it's going to be an announcement of the pick. Oh, oh much better, much Kadita. better. I like that, I like that. I like the finesse here. Coming in from Brand Esports, Kadita most likely will be locked in and that... Claude will be the creme de la creme of the composition. Kadita and Minuan Free, those combo cannot be stopped easily. Mm -hmm. And uh, with Cloud, Cloud is have uh, one of the highest mobility for marksmen, so can easily replace for the Cloud. Since uh, uh, sorry, can easily replace for Carry since Carry has been taken out by Reborn. But um, maybe I think Reborn again will be using marksman here because he excels at it. And uh, for Reborn, as of this moment, I'm not sure whether they're gonna still stick with the split pushing maybe one more assassin yes it's they still yes, stick with the split pushing yep. meta Hayabusa will be a task for that job and uh, based on this lineup for me it's quite balanced where Brand Esport have that scary combo while Reborn still have that early game burst damage uh, from Selena mm -hmm. uh, pushing capability from Kimi while Hayabusa can uh, still focus on uh, you know split pushing alright so now this is the last game of the series of their match here Brand Esports together with Team Reborn uh, the team that will win this one better but now looks like game number 3 has started everybody has landed to the land of the dawn, Brandis was on the blue, Reborn on the red, last match of their series. The winner will proceed to semi-finals, the loser will fall down to the loser brackets. And uh, 
Hey man, yeah. Karita is being focused on his uh, solo in the middle lane here. Mm -hmm. Quite weird. We see the middle lane is just being left alone. Well, usually uh, we will be tasked with two person to actually clear the minion wave as quick as possible to avoid the enemy team to do invasion. Yes, but this time they leaving the Karita. I think it's uh, it will be They're no problem. Bottom. Now rotation from Team Ooh, Oh, EJ, EJ! Wrongly flickered to the side, but manages to jump over the wall. But will be enough. Nob came in with the damage. And also Lucy putting in the blender. First blood goes to the Malaysian team. AJ, what a mistake over there. Wrongly flicker towards the enemy instead of the escape puff. And now, invasion for the buff. Another rebound aggression here. Selena takes a kill as well for the team. A second goes to Team Reborn. And Hayes. Caught off guard here by the approaching team reborn into the jungle. Mm -hmm. And in the bottom lane for Brand is part. Cloud is being guarded by Minotaur, but Reborn is making a detection. Gold buff is being taken by Mal, which is using Hayabusa. But in the top lane, we can see Coco. Ooh, Coco got a gold buff, so it's quite balanced there. One gold buff for each team. So the gold balance. Whoop! Reborn, uh, since they get two kills only, yep. like 500 advantage in, a f uh, in the first minute. Alright, so a very aggressive play here done by the Malaysian team in the early stages of the game. Picking up two kills, very good goal advantage as uh, right now they are leading in terms of goal, uh, right around 700 goal. So this is actually a very good margin for Reborn to start off uh, in their dominance in game number three. Mal still staying at bottom lane, trying to farm as much as they can and try to become a threat here for Brandon Sports in terms of split pushing potential. Selena trying to get a pick off here but not hitting the target. Oh, there you go, Coco. With a setup very nicely done, catching the Selena. Selena goes down, Lucy now also very running very low, but the damage output of Brandon Spot is not spiked up yet, but it's still fine. The Filipino Pride gets a kill here. Coco now has to actually endure some wax here from the Terizla, but he will be fine. Jikundo and Shumpo away for safety. By the same time, Kimi comes out to the top uh, while Brandon Spot, the other members are playing at the Turtle Land. There you go, with a slight tower dive here. Reborn oh. gets another kill. And on nice still here by the Malaysian team. Re Turtle goes to their name. However, trade it off with Hayabusa in the process. It looks like uh, these two teams are actually... Uh, Playing a seesaw game here as trades after trades has come out. It's still a big win for Reborn. They got one kill, they got one turret, and they also got one turtle from Ban Esports. Mm -hmm. Even though uh, Hayabusa need to sacrifice himself for that to be achieved. Well, if we can see now Ban Esports is trying to, you know, counter back the losses they just had. And we can see that Kimi is still trying to steal that buff from Ban Esports on the top lane. Top jungle, I mean, sorry. But uh, not going to be able to. Coco just there to secure the bar for them. Alright, 3-2 here. Brand is boss. Could not handle the aggression coming in from Team Reborn here. Especially on the top side where uh, the Malaysian team manages to actually gain that turret which causes them to gain dominance. But oh. meanwhile, bot, say, bot lane, Mal go, just got Minions Fury there. But manages to shadow, transform away. Saving his life. Will regen and go back to the lane. Defending the Minion wave from approaching the turret at bottom side. And he also did get that gold buff even yep. to intervene from Van Spot, but Selena I be her hitting that Minotaur but no follow up ooh, so ooh, ooh, another, another one. one no it looks like G EJ has become a little bit bobo here as he will go down to the hands of Selena and we can see that Reborn is controlling the early game very nicely with the band of Grog and Akaja. It's very hard for Brand Esports trying to give them uh, the pressure that needed to stop the pushing power, the pick off, and also the split pushing ability of Reborn as of this moment. So three men of Team Reborn is actually waiting on the bottom side. You can see maybe an engagement coming in, but Reborn taking the step to actually clear a minion wave uh, rather than uh, preparing for a fight. Lucy, I'm waiting to actually thousand powder in. But uh, due to the fact that Team, Re uh, team Brand Esports is scattered uh, quite a lot here at bottom side, so Reborn could not engage into the fight. Meanwhile, Coco in mid lane has to defend this uh, engage. I'm sorry, push from Reborn in mid lane. Coco is working hard. He just stopped the minion wave on top, then he come mm. back to the middle lane to stop because the team is trying to get a pick off from Reborn on the bottom side just now. But Reborn now already making rotation towards the top lane. Rebo may be getting trapped here by Reborn. No, I don't think so nope. because he's uh, coming in uh, to survey around the area. Open up the shield, preventing Zelo from 
push taking damage Oops. for the Karad. The ulti is there, flicker as well, hitting both two. And here's the minions for the hitting three. But there's no follow up, there's no damage. And that is just a counter maneuver from the turret being taken down. At the same time, Coco, bottom Whoa. side, takes a turret fla flicker. Just a little bit too overextended. And now Coco has been trapped in by the Akai. And another kill picked up here by Team Reborn. Off positioning from Ben Esport. And now Ben Esport is trying to cover up that loss by trying to get that second turtle here. Mm -hmm. But Kimi is relentless. He's trying to get all the turrets. And now turtle had just been secured by Ben Esport. They will like cover back the losses and trying to you know catch up with the goal difference as of this moment where Reborn still have that 2k difference. Alright, with 2k difference, Reborn is going to uh, extend that margin even further as they have managed to pick up the, sec uh, the uh, first tier tower at bottom lane. Winex tries to actually hold it up at top side. Meanwhile, the other members of Team Reborn is giving pressure towards bottom lane. Now rotating towards mid. Trying to stop Yuji here. Mars still whacking over towards that tower. Lolita opens up the Akoko. Maintaining two has been started. But Rikinas has been opened by Akai. Hayes opens up the shield. Preventing any kind of projectile coming in by the Kimi. And a crisis averted by Brandon Spot in towards mid lane. Ooh. Helix Spray looks like uh, Claude has been caught up in top side, but they're going for, to, to, for the trade to, by taking out that Kimi. That is a one on one trade on both Markman. Yep. Bo both Marksmen. Both Markman is out, which is a fair trade as of now. But we can see that Reborn keep on getting the objective over and over again. Brand Esport is trying to follow the rhythm of uh, Reborn, trying to stop them on their track. But Reborn is like. Just doing their stuff, ignoring what Benny Spot is trying uh, to do to throw, up, uh, to throw off their games. Mm -hmm. So now, with a very early lead here by uh, Team Reborn, all they need right now is just to try to actually provide uh, or give more pressure mm -hmm. to the Filipino team so that they will be distorted. They will be uh, behind in terms of level, in terms of goal advantage, tower advantage, so that they could end the game. Brand, however, has to maintain composure uh, by not actually getting into rebounds. Uh, Momentum because as of right now, the momentum is just way too fast into the side of the Malaysian team. Yep, Silo trying to get a dead buff, Ooh, but Hayes has been damaged quite a lot to this as well. Coming in, knocking up two, but Lolita goes down to again by Minion and Fury together with the Claude combo, giving double towards the Marksman on the side of Team Brand Esports. Now, Coco will go and hunt. Jikundo is there. The well, the dragon, Kimi has been knocked down. Now, Selena tries to go for the trade, but Kadita has been hit. By the Abyssal Arrow, nice play here by both teams, but the fight was actually won by Brand themselves. Yep, that is the combo that we're waiting from Brand Esport, but Mal, Hayabusa is not stopping the split pushing. But Brand Esport also covered it up by getting another turtle. And now from 2k, it's only left with 1k difference from Brand Esport and also Reborn. Slowly, Brand Esport is catching up. But so, uh, uh, when you're talking about catching up, you can see the items here coming in. Terizla has the wing, uh, wings of the Apocalypse Queen and also Bloodlust Blood, Blood, Axe. That will be a very, very pesky Terizla to handle as he can lie still quite a lot. Starting on towards the Akai on the sideline, but Selena comes in, jumping in, trying to go for the claw. Claw has been stunned up very well. Ben and Fini come out together oh. with the Lolita start. They're going to take Akai in together with Selena, but Selena tries to dash to the side. Shut down by the Lolita. Shadow kill by Hayat. Abusa, Kalita will go down to the hands of Kimi. Kimi now, Reborn will try to try and take all the trades here. Projectile EJ will go down. There is like smacking in. Coco, the way of the dragon Coco. on the nice timing. Stand up by the Lolita. Coco, what? Takes down a dead high Abusa. And that is a three on man, three on three man trade done by both teams. Yep, three on three. But Terizla is back to the bottom lane trying to get that to it. <laughs> no more minion, but no he's more minion, there and no. And then, but that's fine. You can see, I can lie still, but you can't. However, Coco says, I got my cloth here, man. Let's go. Pumunta, man. Pumunta. And then smacking back. Hitting Rebo. Rebo had to teleport out. Leaving Dexter all alone. Rebo running very low. Has to open the L. Bad, the bad. 
You can see Lucy is stepped out to the tower. Brad is chasing it. Rebound with the flicker and it runs away. And that is a close call by both teams. It almost ended up a death there. Yep, a good rotation from both teams, trading the damage and changing the mid shield for both teams. So both teams like really balance out the damage and no one is taking like too much damage until it can lead to a free kill towards the enemy team. Hayabusa being hunted by Coco here. Coco going to lower Coco. Are they gonna get? Nope. Mal is taking the safety precaution, trying to back away. Selena is already there to help. Coco, are you gonna cancel that recall? No, yeah, he's gonna recall, man. He's yep. gonna be a bit uh, in trouble here if he actually still maintained on top side. Aaron uh, facing it with EJ for a while, but it's just a face check to actually. Uh, Find uh, safety in mm -hmm. case the Teresla wants to go for a push. But I mean, look at the middle thread and the bottom thread. It's only like one push, just one hit mm -hmm. to shut down those threads. And there will be like six threads under Reborn Belt. So another thread has been picked, uh, uh, be taken down by Team Reborn this time on the second tier tower bot side. And a brand is what is now slowly losing towers against Team Reborn. They can have very good team uh, fight potential, but in terms of pushing, Reborn is excelling over that particular fourth. And Ren has been damaged in, but he's fine because Teresla can actually live stream very well. And Bissero hitting it, but Minion is really preventing anybody going from going to his. He's over some DL, managed to stun too. Teresla goes out. Lucian is overextended. It's not being chased. The Fat Panda will go extinct here. We'll be taken up by the Claw, but Lolita will be going down on that train. Keep me on the side. We will go and put some more damage on towards uh, Team Brand Esports. And these two teams are like Bruce Lee versus Jet Li, man. Cannot find a decisive answer. Yep, we can see the kills. It's 11 11 from both teams. And meanwhile, just now uh, during the fight, we can see that Chao and Hayabusa on the top lane. Hayabusa trying to give that pressure, trying to get that uh, the last threat on the top lane. But Chao is there to defend the Brand Esports mm -hmm. home. Alright, and we can see as so this moment, both teams is trying to, you know, get some space between each other, trying to recollect their mind, trying to get that formation and strategy to execute it properly, not to rush things over. Yes, there you go. Not rushing over indeed. They are tied in terms of score, but due to the fact that Reborn manages to actually gain more turrets and also uh, maybe gain more last hits and objective mm -hmm. they are in the lead in terms of goal at right around the 3000 goal spot so now brand sports all they need to do is to catch any member of Team Reborn and get the kill because the moment where Reborn is down by one member, Brandon Sports can actually punish that over the outnumbered uh, that they have. However, Team Reborn, as you can see now, they are all over the map. They want to play that, uh, uh, what you call it, split the pushing, pushing. Ah. Yeah, split push and push comp here. Uh, putting pressure a lot towards Brandon Esports in all lanes, causing them to be splitted as well. Now, Lucy M locking down uh, that, I think it's a uh, Coco, yeah, yep. Coco, uh, that Chow. But manages to actually jump away and attempt. Barry Bond failed just a little bit. And he is now jumping in, goes for the stun. But the fight is still on top side here. As you can see that he is trying to defend away from the bar. But now bottom side, Hayabusa facing off with EJ. Oh! EJ, oh, going Bobo again. Misses the Minion Yen Shuri from hitting that Hayabusa. Hayabusa, nice evasion. Nice juke for, uh, just now. And we can see it's like a stalemate as of this moment. Ben Ispot is trying to do a defensive. Uh, we're trying to get a pick off from Reborn. But Reborn's play pushing, it just like, you know, divide and conquering. Ben Ispot without no problem. Now, Lord, Lord is almost gone. Who's going to get it? Oh, nicely done here by Reborn. Managed to get the last one towards the Lord. Lucy has spinning at the back, but will be taken down soon enough by Reborn. No, not yet. Silo comes in to provide the safety, but the Hayabusa together with Teresla has been eliminated. And Silo, you have to be careful here. Hayes could stun you. And luckily that Kimi did not actually extend it to the front. If not, it will be his demise. And there you go. Trading off for two kills for the Lord. Brandon Sports is still in the game. Yep, even though they got the lot, but since that Hayabusa is gone, it's hard for them to use the lot properly to do a split pushing. And the fight, uh, Hayes is taking damage from Silo, but as a tanker, that shouldn't be a problem. And uh, EJ, oh, EJ, look at that bar hash. I know he has immortality, but come on. There's <laughs> a Kibi on the sideline there, bro. Yep, try to get, uh, save that immortality for a much more important uh, team fight that is going to be coming up soon enough. And uh, we can see that Coco just now settled or finishes off that lot. Mm -hmm. So, Reborn. Just wasted one opportunity to end the game. 
because uh, <coughs> that is what they need to be done before Brand Esport Cloud will become unstoppable towards the late game. The thing about uh, Reborn right now is that they have these two powerful picks, which is picks, which is Kimi and Selena. Because Selena has the ability to actually stun an enemy from far range, and Kimi, well. Self-explanatory, this, yep. this girl is just very painful to handle. So with these two, th two heroes on the side of Team Reborn, they, these, they are the reason why Brand Esports could not actually gain this game over mm -hmm. from the Malaysian team. The Filipino pride is there, but the, uh, the, re the, 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 the spirit of the warrior from the Malaysian team looks more vigor here. Which is why I said from the draft, uh, from the band pick, from the drafting, I already say for the Reborn is quite a solid formation, uh, quite a solid drafting because uh, they rules out the the things that will cancel out the split pushing, mm. which is early game aggression, mm. which is why Grok and Kaja is being um, banned out from the game. Yes. And with that out, they have Kimi, they have Selena to control the early game, to give out that big pressure towards Brand Esport, while Hayabusa as a split pusher can do whatever he want and doing his job. EJ got caught just a little bit, running along low HP, did not die and proccing the immor immortality that is lucky enough for him. So now Reborn, you can see that a few setup of surprise, surprise attacks has been done and uh, almost succeed in their plan mm -hmm. but due to the fact that the tanks are the one that did the face checking so uh, uh, Reborn could not get any kind of secure kills here Hayes opens up the shield avoiding the projectiles from Kimi another episode arrow has been thrown down and uh, Hayes together with EJ has to puff properly here Yuji is nearby they want Silo. to go for the Kimi instantly but Silo opens up the spray could not get the hit stun by the Lolita, EJ heals up just a little bit, blocking the missile, hitting UG just a little bit, and e Brand Esport playing it safe. And I like what Brand Esport is doing, giving the job to stop Hayabusa to Chao, which is being used by Coco, where we know Hayabusa, the only way to stop him is a single target lockdown, which what a Cho have with the, dra uh, the Dragon. Mm. So it's a bit hard for Hayabusa to find that chance to do split pushing, to break uh, that uh, Brand Esport house door with Lucy M. Oh, the engagement here, Lucy M. It's stunned just a little bit, but nah, no follow up. Not, yeah, the follow yeah, up is not both there. teams are playing it safely as of this moment. They don't mm -hmm. want to commit to a fight where they can get losses easily. Mm -hmm. And most likely, Reborn is going to wait out for that lot to come back from the grave and trying to use that to their advantage. But Brandy Spot could also use that chance to steal away the lot and take back the momentum of the game. Oh, Coco, all right, almost got the stun here by the Akai. But the buff will be still stolen by nice timing here by Coco catching up with the Kimi unstoppable done by Coco now Lucy M is caught in the middle of it Hayes together with Coco will chase the Akai Yuji at the back now Coco opens up the Alba has been oh. cancelled easily here by the Chico no Winex is open to be hit here by Coco EJ coming in from the back and there you go Yuji gets the kill now Lucy M is all alone double kill all towards the magician of Rene Sports and now they have the opening to get the lot this Despite the Hayabusa pushing in the yep. top side. A clean pick up from Brand Esport. Two much losses. Three from Reborn is out. Hayabusa couldn't take that risk to do a split pushing because he can get caught mm. easily. Evan and Mal is trying to stop that lot from being taken uh, by Brand Esport. But a solid defense. When still, <laughs> Evan is still there. Well, a solid defense is the best offense, my dear. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Aaron just have to back away from that yeah, lot and giving it pretty to Brand Esport. And this is what is needed by Brand Esport to make a comeback. Yes, there you go. The Pumalik by Brand Esport is pr in process here as Brand Esport acquires that a level 2 lot. At the same time, you can see that Koko and the Minimap is doing his own pushing so to provide more space for the lot to actually enter the base of Team Reborn. Mm. Items, you can see, slowly uh, being brought up by both teams. Yep. And Glacial Wand on the side of Kimi will actually pump up more damage together with the Winter Truckion and also Devil Tears. I think Devil Tears is that? Yeah, sorry, which one? 
Yes, yes. There it is. Okay, so oh no, there is a new item. I forgot. No, that's the name. not a new item. That's an old item actually. But oh, okay. that is a magic penetration item the, the, that will be beneficial for the Kimi. Now the Lord on top side hitting the Kara. The Tara will be taken down easily here by Brian Esports without reborn, trying to defend it. So right now you can see the positioning of the reborn is near to the base. Yep, and uh, we can still see Hayabusa trying to do that split wishing. But again, Coco is there to stop him on his track, and mm -hmm. Hayabusa getting cut by Cho, but in the top lane. EJ now has to open that immortality. Will go down to the hands of Kimi. Here's Team uh, Louis Bond trying to do a comeback back. On the other side of the map, bottom lane, Coco traded off the death of his teammate by picking up a kill on towards Hayabusa. Now both teams is less by one member. Coco will try to push it off at bottom side. Meanwhile, Brand will also do something in mid lane. Uh, for me, as of now, seen Brand is what is already prepared to go against or to handle that split pushing from Reborn. Mm -hmm. I think Mal or Hayabusa should focus on trying to get into the team fight and try to pick off that Cloud or Kadita from the back line because as of now there's no way he can push when Coco is there to stop him yes there you go so now at first in the middle of the game you can see from the minimap Reborn is the one yep. that covers the uh, uh, but you call it the, 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 the they exposition. have the better map they control they have the better map control the lanes were pushed to the side of Brandon Sports now coming in 20 minutes into the game the turnaround is here. All the lanes are actually facing yep. towards Reborn side. Brand Esports maintain their dominance this time by getting the map control and also the minion wave exposition. So now with <clears throat> with the score of 17-12 in favor of Brand Esports and also the goal margin, the goal margin slowly uh, closing in. It looks like it's, got, it's gonna be a uh, level par gaming here coming from both sides. Yep. He's almost got caught, has to use Flicker to the back. And now it will be anybody's game here. There's no one sided, uh, one sidedness in any sides. And well, as of right now, made the best team wins actually. Yes, made the best team win. And both team is trying to find that easy pick off. They're all for the team from the enemy team. But oh, here, but no, why Claude is overextended to the front. Immortality proc down. And Claude has been caught up by the Akai. By Ninian, yes, Fury. That is so Masama here from a team brand esports. The the cleanup is coming in. Reborn losing uh, members one by one. The team was good. They get the clot. Brand, uh, uh, Reborn gets the clot. However, Brandy Spot gets the Selena and also the Hayabusa. Two of the most valuable targets for them to take. Yep, and not forgetting Coco you know, just hide in the bush because he knows that Hayabusa is going to try to come back to the back line and pick off their core hero. So by the time Hayabusa is there, Chao show himself and give that wave to the gun quick to him and mm. finish him off easily. Oh my god, I was hope I was actually expecting Reborn to win because when the when we were hitting the 15 minute mark, Brand in this spot was oh, in a pickle. Reborn was holding them by their own by their uh, by their throat, you know, yep. just begging for mercy. But mistakes were made. Reborn, I think they they went a little bit overconfident in terms of positioning. Brand Esports manages to find the spots they need to actually do some pickoffs and catch Reborn off guard. Uh, but, uh, but right now, Brand is in Reborn situation here. They must not overextend. They must actually take care of their positioning where they had a problem in game number two. Yep. And Reborn, still in the game, is now slightly in a small Amen. problem here, EJ gaining the stack of Fury Haze and EJ Minotaur trying to actually maintain the, uh, the front lines here. EJ is now uh, going big but could not get that Minotaur's Fury. Coco on the other side of the map trying to provide pressure to push Kimi. it outside. Now Kimi in mid, Silo is pushing it together with the minion. But Silo is all alone. Silo! Immortality is there. Here comes Rebo opening up the L. I think this is going to be Claude's skill easily on to us. This is yeah, just, Kimi, there you go. This is just a suicide mission by Silo to open up uh, that mid lane for the enemy team. But, Th but that is a very bad mistake, you know, to uh, be honest, by Reborn. Now they don't have damage dealer. Prank will be like, okay, I'm uh, gonna go Malakas on all you Matalinos. Because look at this. The fire has brought up by Brandy Sports. And they try to do something. But Akai puts to the bag with the Wacha! King of the uh, uh, the way of the dragon by the Chow taking down the tank. Now with 50 seconds on the side of 
Lucian. There is no Akai. With 20 seconds left to be respawned by that Kimi, Brand Esports is gonna take this lord. Reboot opened up the door in the middle lane, but there was a two hero from their team, mm. and they now are giving the lot to Brand Esports. And if I'm saying this is the third lot, this is the fourth, fourth lot. Fourth lot. Oh my god, it's going to be hard to stop this but, lot. No, look at stop. Okay, talking about stop. Eren has been caught up on the sideline. The stun is there by the Lolita. And look, Rebo, Rebo pulling on the back. Eren will die down, but immortality is there. But it's fine, bro. Trinza, you're gonna go down swinging as the Undertaker of Brandy Spot. It's gonna get Silo. the kill. Silo spawns up. Now will die. And there you go. That's been the win. But Rebo, po, 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 takes the double. For brand esports. Yep, and Hayabusa Jena just try to give his best to do a split pushing on top lane, but Chao is there and Lot just we've been uh, called upon in this battle. Oh my god. Yep, it's quite hard for Reborn to make a comeback anymore from this. Well, brand esports is it's like especially his name, his power in this match. And this is uh, the last match I'm, between these two teams. I'm gonna sing the song of Adele. This is the end. Okay, okay. I'm gonna count to ten as Brand Esports now slowly approaching to the base of Reborn. Reborn now, all they need to do is just and try to defend this, try to make that particular fight for the turntable to come in. But never mind, here's oh. the one smacking that turret oh. half HP instantly. And hello, Reborn. Brand Esports is now in base with the lot still healthy on the side of the Filipino team. And then now tries to. Do something for Rebo by EJ stopping the ground. The cloud spinning in for the wet. Rebobo damaging quite a lot to the side of the Rebon. There is lies no more. Eonag Wakas. Eonag Wakas. As Brand is born. We'll try to go for the end, but nope, not yet. Rebon said, We're not gonna give up. We're still gonna fight. EJ had to jump out. Immortality has been brought down here by Kadita as she dies out. And Rebon is still. In this game, EJ as well will be killed here by Silo and his could not teleport back. Selena caught him off guard, and now the reborn, the Bumalik by the Malaysia thing is coming. And Kimi is still alive, and now he said, Upon Brand is for door, and we all know Kimi can easily focus fire on a oh turret. Oh my god, the mistakes were made. Plan is born. Could Silo. not get the end. Now Reborn will go for the Eonang Wakas. GG! And there you go, GG! After three games, Reborn defeated Plan is born in the upper brackets. Wow, what an exciting... Yeah. And Reborn, I thought that this is Ben's game. The Lord is there. Wait, first, it was Reborn game. Uh, if, if, in the start, it was Reborn's game. It was a Reborn's game, without doubt. Then Pran come back. <laughs>